Please help me welcome Keith Basia. The Tower Garden has really just been a godsend for um, myself and my wife because we had a desire to do some, um, some gardening because I don't know if you've noticed or not, but even in some of the most expensive um, grocery stores, Whole Foods, Sprouts or whatever, there's been a lack of quality in the um, fruits and vegetables. I'm a vegan myself, so I don't go to the meat department. Everything I eat is fruits and vegetables, nuts, berries, and things of that nature. And um, we started seeing a severe decline in the quality of product. And just because the quality declined, guess what did? The price. And so <laughs> we said, you know, we got to do something about this. And initially, my wife actually started growing outside. And um, I just watched from afar. And <laughs> until we got the tower garden and then I started getting more involved because I didn't have to mix any soil. I didn't have to worry about any of the birds or the, um, or the other things that come with being outside. Uh, all the, the, the water that, you know, um, making sure that everything gets water when you try to go on vacation. With my tower garden, as long as I know there's water and nutrients in the tank, I can go away for pretty much as much as, as, much as I can afford to be away and my uh, tower garden is going to take care of itself as long as I make sure it's clean or what have you. And um, it, it, it's been some of the best food I have ever tasted. I picked, harvested some of my uh, basil just for the uh, show. And it, it just, uh, it smells good. So we're gonna ha actually have some of this tonight with um, dinner. And it's just been a beautiful thing for the both of us. I'm actually located in Houston. I'm okay. a um, certified nutritionist and master trainer and a former physique competitor. So I'm really meticulous about what I put in my body. And as you well know, with the tower garden, we don't have to worry about any pesticides or anything of that nature. And uh, it, it's just been great. I can't say enough about it. Hey, Keith, so behind you is your tower. Can you show us what you're growing? I can. So aside yeah. from this basil which is right here. Can you see that okay? Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I got the basil here. We've got some um, turnip greens that are growing here. There's some more greens down here. Um, we've got some mint and some thyme. Oh, one other testimony that I have that is going to be, um, I think, very relevant is that about two weeks ago, my wife had a pretty nasty cough. And we didn't know what the cause of it was, but, you know, we try to refrain from using any medicine, but she took stuff right out this tower garden, all the herbs and stuff that we have in here. And she made up this tea with some honey and that cough was gone like in a matter of a day or so. So that just, that just is what it is for us. Um, here's some peppers that are growing right here and down here. My bok choy has been going like pretty mad. So that's pretty much what we have growing now. And I love to make a stir fry with my bok choy and um, some basmati rice and some other fruits and vegetables that we add. And uh, I, like I said, it's been great. Keith, thank you so much for committing to our call. Now, I am from Houston, Texas. And so aren't you pleased that you don't have to grow outside? Because it's my understanding the temperature there is, is so hot. Yet another reason to grow indoors. <laughs> exactly. So guys, please understand the power of the tower where you can grow 20 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, and edible flowers year round. So with that said, can you guys unmute yourself and thank you for joining us as our amazing speaker tonight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.